how do you respond to a narcissist's false allegations during a divorce or child custody battle with that narcissist? Well, the problem is, is in a lot of divorce and custody cases, sometimes a judge will actually make an order that says that you have to respond to that person. Or if you have children with that person, you know, you can't just ignore them forever because at some point you have to have some sort of communication with them. Well, what happens whenever that person, that narcissistic ex is making false allegations to you and accusing you of doing something that you didn't do. Because if you are in this situation, you know that that happens a lot. And quite frankly, they will accuse you of anything and, and everything under the sun. And, and usually their accusations are really admissions as to their own behavior. But regardless, how do you handle that? Is it best to just ignore them and not respond at all? Is it best to, you know, tell them to go to hell or tell them to F off? Um, or is it best to get into the, you know, back and forth argument of, yes, you did, no, I didn't, yes, you did, no, I didn't. Well, I can tell you that through my experiences, my, and my name's Judge Anthony, I've been a family law attorney for over 20 years, and I served five years on the bench as judge. And I can tell you that throughout my career, I have come up with a way to handle those false allegations that that narcissist is throwing at you. And the best way to do that is say that you get a text message or an email or um, a message on, you know, our family wizard or parent wise or some other sort of application that you're using in your case. And they are making an allegation to you and it's a false allegation. Well, it's okay if you do want to ignore that, but I know a lot of people who are involved in that are afraid because they don't want the court to then think that your silence is an admission to that allegation that the narcissist is making. And quite honestly, if the narcissist is trying to say that and argue that, that your silence is an admission, I don't think that's the strongest argument. But the way that you can insulate yourself from that is to respond to their false allegation with this simple phrase. And that simple phrase is, you know that's not true, period. Just, you know that's not true. Now, you don't hit them with any sort of a clap back or counter punch, like, you know that's not true, and oh, by the way, you're an idiot, or you know that's not true, and you're lying through your teeth. And you don't wanna do any sort of explanation either. It's not, you know that's not true, and here's why, or you know that's not true, and here's what really happened. Just, you know that's not true, period. And the reason why you don't want to get into any other sort of clap back or explanation or back and forth with, with them is first off, you want to limit your conversation with them as much as possible. You want to communicate with them as little as possible. But also why you don't want to get in a situation in a back and forth argument with them is because you need to start understanding that you do not have to prove anything to them at all. You don't have to set the record straight with them. You don't have to show them what a good person you are. You don't have to prove anything at all. The only reason why you're responding at all with that phrase, you know, that's not true, is so that you are developing a clear record of physical evidence. In this case, your text messages or emails or parent-wise communication. You're developing a clear record for the judge moving forward that you made that denial, that you do not agree that those allegations are true, and you made it clear that it's not true. Well, the next question is how, how often do I have to do that? I think if they're making an allegation to you and they do it repetitively, saying it back to them one time is plenty enough. And the reason why is because you already set the record straight for the court in the future and you don't have to do any more. So when you're enduring those false allegations from a narcissist, don't engage with them, don't argue with them, don't try to prove yourself correct. Just respond with the phrase, you know that's not true, and dead radio silence after that.